Um, could you excuse me for a second? Sure. sure. Because I didn't. Uh, I'm sorry. I know you told me to avoid Sherry, but there's something very compelling about her. So much about Richard that I didn't know. It seems like the only way to purge myself of him is to talk to her. Well, I would love it if you curb your curiosity for a little while. Um, we don't want to muddy the waters any more than we have to. All right, I promise. Good. It's imperative, you know. I mean, these visits might make her very curious, and they have a very solid case. Well, I just knew what... I wish I knew what she wanted. I'll, uh, I'll tie her to a desk. Oh, better than a jail cell? No. no. <laughs> Come on, have a drink. Thanks. Won't you go in, please? Oh, thanks. Thank you, Dad. I thought it was you at that one. Oh, so glad you could make it. Sorry you missed the ceremony. The baby's upstairs right now, but Jillian's right here, so why don't you come on in and say hi? That'll be fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maggie. Hi. Hi, Dakota. Gee, hi. I have a little present for the baby. Oh, well, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Oh, come on. It's the least I could do. I mean, you went to the trouble to have the kid. Oh, thanks. Um, I think. Oh, no, thank you. See, now that you have your own baby, maybe you'll be satisfied to let me be John Lee's one and only mother. <sighs> Miss Lizzie? Is everything all right? Oh, yes, Mr. Dad, everything's fine. Ah. Well, I know that parties sometimes end up in the kitchen. I thought perhaps you were trying to make sure that you had a good seat. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't uh, suppose there's... Anything I could do to be of assistance? Oh, I wish you could. John and Ben were in here just a minute ago at each other's throats. Oh, dear, dear. John accused Ben of secretly seeing Nancy Dawn, and then he claimed that Ben hit her and gave her a black eye. Absolutely, categorically untrue. Although he was seriously provoked, Mr. Shelley restrained himself admirably. Now, there was no violence whatsoever. And it was perfectly clear, in spite of their state of well, undress, that absolutely nothing untoward had occurred. What? What was this? Mr. Dowd. Lizzie, it was such a stupid little incident. We've all forgotten about it. I mean, there's no point in bringing it up again. Mrs. Coleridge, uh, ma madam, it's all right. I did not break my vow of silence. Miss Lizzie already knew about the encounter. You knew, Lizzie? I was talking about last night. When are you talking about? Yeah. Well, I suppose it could have been last night. I don't know. Things happen so fast around here. Don't they, Mr. Dowd? Uh, yes, madam, they certainly do. There was another time. No, Lizzie. Lizzie, wait. Listen to me. Lizzie, Lizzie, wait. Talk to Ben. He'll explain. I'm going to ask Nancy Dawn to explain. You can't expect to get the truth from her. I'm sorry, Maggie. Thanks for the party. Tell Owen I'll see him in the morning. That's very good. See, once Lizzie sees Nancy Dawn face to face, she's going to realize what an animal she's living with. Wait a second. Would you translate that for me, please? Nancy Dawn and Ben have been seeing each other all along. Now, Nancy Dawn made him dinner, a Cajun-style New Orleans thing. He paid her back by smacking her around, giving her bruises on her neck and a black eye. No. Oh, no. Yes, so she's fine. She's okay. But it's going to be great when Lizzie sees it. She's not going to put up with that. She's going to freak. Oh, you, you did Lizzie hear about it? Just now. Good. Well, maybe she'll see what a stupid animal he really is. Maybe she will. All this will be great as long as Ben doesn't try any strong arm tactics on Liz. You wouldn't dare. I think that little girl deserves this. Oh, that is just beautiful. Oh, thank you. Like you. Oh, I'm gonna run and show you. Okay. Hello. Hello. You know, I guess I owe you a congratulations, don't I? Don't you mean that for Frank and Jill? No, I mean it for you. And for Pat and the clinic, you know, the way you got out of a very well-deserved malpractice suit. You must be living right these days. I like to think so, even though that's hard for you to believe. When are you going to stop wasting that mind of yours tearing me apart? Can't you give it a rest? Like you put Melinda to rest? Hey, I thought we had a deal. I don't recall accepting any deal. Yeah, uh, Conchetta gets treated with the respect she deserves. Yeah, well, you want to know what kind of respect I think that's... No, I don't care what you think. As long as you keep your mouth shut, that's your part of the deal. Ours is we do the same thing. That's not a deal. That's a threat. Yeah, well, you call it whatever you want as long as it gets through. You know, I thought you were different. 
I went to bat for you, but I should have known that your true Ryan colors would come out sooner or later. Oh, uh-huh. Dakota, not here, please. This is my baby's Christmas. Please, miss. Oh. Well, excuse yeah. me. I thought you would want your baby to be indoctrinated into all the family business. This is not family business. This is between us. Keep the family out of it. You mean keep me out of the family. Isn't that what you mean, Frank? All right, now, wait a minute. That's fine. Wait a minute. You two stop feuding. Now, what is going on here? Oh, we're just playing the usual game of odd man out, and I happen to be it again. Oh, you're it. Now, come on. Will you keep your squabbling at home for a change? Dakota, when are you going to realize this family isn't trying to shut you out? We don't spend every waking hour trying to figure out ways to get Dakota. Oh, no? Uh, you want to explain yourself? Yeah. I think I will explain myself, since you obviously don't have a clue what is really going on here. Uh, what is really going on here? You have two very vindictive sons, Da. They both conspired to set me up, and now they're trying to blackmail me, all for the sake of Ryan family righteousness. Well, I think I've cooperated long enough. All right, now's your chance. I'll put it. Thank you. 